Hello YouTube and welcome to another Tech Launch video with a brand new Motorola Moto G 3rd generation smartphone. This time we will do the setup, we will insert our micro sim card, turn the device on, do the setup and then check out which apps are pre-installed, how much storage we got and and and. First of all we have to open up the back cover. We got a little opening on the back side, uh, just get your fingers in and pull. There we go. And as you can see, it's really just a single SIM version here in Germany. It's a small version, 8 GB, 1 GB of RAM. And we got a micro SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. And we take our micro SIM card and put it this way around in. There we go. Put the back cover uh, back on and make sure that it's fits really really well on all sides and in the middle you have to push there as well because otherwise you won't get your waterproof thingy your ipx7 then remove the screen protection there we go and now we have to turn the device on uh, right side there's your off button push it push it push it push it push it and there we go no vibration here Yes, there was the vibrating sound, you could hear it. And we got our Motorola logo and as always powered by Android. And nice animation. This is new, I guess. Definitely new. A new animation here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the last generation got this circling uh, world, the circling globe. So first of all, let's choose language English let's take English United States and hit welcome and next as you can see I got here already 4G LTE uh, select a Wi-Fi network you can skip this one but I'm at home so I will connect with to, uh, to my Wi-Fi we are connected about privacy uh, you have to accept this and continue checking for updates checking for updates no updates found I guess and just a sec and add your account or create a new account you could can skip this but i uh, it's an android device of course you got a google account you need a google account to be able to update your apps to get new apps to get new uh, software and all the stuff so and of course to use the google services so connect to your google account set up payment info if you have not already done this but you can just skip it by remind me later you don't have to give google's an oh this was i did not hit anything <laughs> strange so we are back here at connected wi-fi network what did happen to about privacy i already did this one software update we already did this one why did it get it back all the way so we just skip this one here no payment okay now restore from backup uh you i will switch this one up to set up as no device a new device so next Protect your phone. Set screen lock, uh, lock now. Uh, no, I don't want to do this. Skip this one. Are you sure you want to skip it? Yes, skip it anyway. And now Google services. Back up this phone's data. No, use Google location services. Yes, help improve location access. No, help improve your Android experience. No, next. Get Google now. Yes, please. Yes, I'm in. And now you are set. Moto G is ready to use. What's next? Move photos, videos, music, call history and more from your old phone to this one. Start migrate? No, maybe later. I want to use this as a totally new device. So welcome. Wallpapers, widgets and settings. Got it. First, let's head over to the settings about phone. And we got Android version 1.1.1 Lollipop, of course. Uh, let's get back and let's find out how much free storage we got so we got the point storage here and total space is 4.54 gigabytes and available are 4.1 gigabytes so it's okay it's okay we got half of the 8 gigabytes for free use and i'm still guessing for a lot of people out there 4 gigabytes of free storage is enough especially if you're using cloud and then again keep in mind you still got some micro sd card slot but i guess for a price of 230 euros here in germany there shouldn't have been an 
8 gigabyte version, not in 2015. This is way too less storage and I mean storage is cheap. So let's head over to the home screen and now let's check out uh, which apps are pre-installed. We got Calculator, Google Services, Chrome, we got the help. There are some uh, Motorola apps, Motorola Help, Motorola Migrate, Gallery, uh, Moto and this is it. So and see all the layout. So we got no spam apps. We got really close to original Android here. We got Google now on the left side and everything really looks like on an Exos device. So we are really uh, close to a vanilla Android software. Uh, one thing is different and that's the camera app. Again, we got the Motorola camera app. Take a photo, tap anywhere to take a photo, hold to for multiple shots, uh, drag up and down to zoom. Quick capture, twist your wrist twice quickly to open camera. The same motion switches to the front camera too. Oh, this is nice. So we got this uh, camera app here. Just point and shoot and this is fast definitely fast and we got this uh, 30 megapixel by uh, megapixel camera on the back side but first of all let's do the tri uh, twist thing well this works uh, will this one work even in standby like on the moto x yes nice and it's fast this one wakes up really really fast a nice feature so you just take your phone out of your pocket and while you're open, uh, while you're grabbing your phone, you can already s yes, yes, definitely. Nice way to take fast pictures, definitely. Uh, head over to settings, uh, swipe this way, and now check out the resolution. Video resolution is uh, full HD, 1080p with a back camera, and uh, photo resolution 16 to 9. It's only 9.7 megapixel and standard should be 4 to 3 and there you go there we go gets a full 30 megapixel photo power uh, let's switch cameras there we go now we have on with a, a 5 megapixel front facing camera and again let's find out what about video resolution again full HD this is nice 1080p and pictures uh, 5 megapixel okay Let's try to make a video just to get my voice recorded because I heard some disturbing news because Motorola has dropped the two front-facing speakers here. We only got one front-facing speaker anymore. I, I don't like this rumor but I guess it's through. So let's check out, play the video, no not with photo, video player. It's recorded because I heard some disturbing news. Because yes. Motorola has dropped the front Definitely. Yes. We got only one speaker anymore. Go say goodbye to your dual front facing speakers. This was a huge feature of the Motorola Moto G. And for my opinion, the phone was always a little bit big but we got two front facing speakers and this was the reason I was saying yes this is okay to have this big phone but now with only one speaker they could have placed the speaker somewhere else on the side on the back side I wouldn't care but just makes the device a little bit shorter if you're just using one speaker man I don't like this feature or not a feature this is definitely not even a bug this is just the, I don't know why they made the phone more expensive and they got rid of the second speaker and I don't know why. But uh, of course I will figure out how good is the one, the mono speaker quality, what about the picture quality of the camera, how fast the device is. Until now I had not uh, no lags here, sounds smooth or feels smooth, but of course it's an empty device. Uh, I will figure out the battery life, uh, connection and all the stuff in the next couple of days and then I see you with the next Motorola Moto G video. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!